I was applying to medical schools and in that time I realized how much I really enjoyed research and I couldn't abandon that side of my interests. When I got to interview for the MD-PhD program, I got an opportunity to see all the different facilities, research opportunities, research interests that were available to me on the tri-institutional campus between Sloan Kettering, Rockefeller, and of course Wild Cornell. And what makes, I think, Wild Cornell really special is actually right after around 1996, they developed a new curriculum. So traditionally, curriculums have been nine to five, lecture after lecture after lecture. And you know, it's very difficult for someone to sit through all these lectures and kind of absorb everything that's being taught to them. The faculty here realized this and decided that the more important things that Wild Cornell does is teach you how to think like a doctor. And so this is kind of geared towards their PBL curriculum where we have problem-based learning cases that we go through their first and second year that mimic actual clinical cases. And then through these cases we learn how a clinical diagnosis is arrived to and how to, how to approach you know, given clinical cases and how to kind of think through problems essentially. So with this new curriculum, not only do we get a chance to do this PBL and learn how to approach problems and so forth, but they also cut down class time from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., which is definitely a huge incentive for us to come here. It gives us an opportunity to do a lot of things outside of class and explore some interests that may be medically relevant but not directly under the scope of uh, studying medicine. And so, for instance, a lot of my, some of my classmates are really involved in global health initiatives. As a, someone in medicine, you're considered a lifelong learner and a lifelong student. And I think that uh, this new research building will be able to put us in a place to rival our peer institutions in research. And so, now with all this space and the opportunity to attract more and uh, more faculty and more um, prestigious faculty as well is going to be not only a resource to the institution but also a resource for students because we interact with these faculty, they're our teachers, they're also people that we do research with not only as MD-PhDs but also as medical students who, who, um, who partake in basic science research either during their summers or during the school year. The interplay between the students and the faculty and the diversity is really the key to uh, the key to making Wild Cornell special. I think as a kid I sort of had this ideal of doctors really making an impact in people's lives and I always liked science and anatomy. Um, I remember when I was a kid my parents like bought me a coloring book of like anatomy that I always loved but I never even knew any doctors growing up so it sort of was just this idea I had and I think as I matured I realized that it's something that really fit um, what I enjoyed and what I wanted to do. My classmates are one of the best parts about being a student here. Um, they really come from all over the country and have many different um, sort of goals in, within medicine and I think when you bring people together with such diverse interests really great things can happen. I mean we have kids who are children of doctors who grew up on the Upper East Side of Manhattan and then we have people from you know rural Virginia who you know no one in their entire family is in medicine who sort of worked their way up during college and then applied and crossed their fingers and got into Cornell and now are here and um, you know bring a different perspective. Um, that we have interna some international students too, from um, mostly from the Caribbean, a couple classmates from Trinidad, one from Haiti, and so everyone sort of brings their piece. There were several things that attracted me. I think I was really interested in international medicine, and Cornell has a good reputation for that. Um, and many of his students go abroad during school, which I knew I wanted to do. Cornell has a reputation for being good in that aspect of things. Um, and a lot of students think about wanting to go abroad, and a majority of Cornell students do. And um, knowing that that would be possible definitely drew me here, I think. Um, and then also, the patient population of New York is hard to pass up. It's so diverse and just a great place to learn clinical medicine. I realized sort of how unique this experience is, um, that we're you know, dissecting cadavers in the anatomy lab, which is something most people never experienced in a lifetime and being part of surgery which is definitely surreal um, and you know talking about mental illness with people suffering from it. I worked on the schizophrenia unit during my psych rotation so just really unique experiences that um, I feel really grateful to have.
Cornell is a great medical school and the MD-PhD program has a, you know, a really top reputation um, just for all the uh, labs it can offer. I think almost 300 labs um, are offered between the three institutions that make up the program. The MD-PhD program here is formally called the Tri-Institutional MD-PhD program. The Tri-Institutions being uh, uh, Cornell, um, Rockefeller University, and then Sloan Kettering um, all have contiguous campuses um, right next to Weill Cornell. As an undergraduate I studied neuroscience and I worked in a neuroscience lab for two or three years. Um, and before coming to Cornell I worked at the National Institutes of Mental Health for a year. Um, so I have a pretty strong interest in neuroscience and when I arrived at the MD-PhD program here I found an interest in stem cells so I did a rotation with uh, Elaine Fuchs at Rockefeller University who's uh, really premier um, researcher in epidermal stem cells. And then the past year, or the past summer, um, I did a lab rotation with Robert Benezra over at Sloan Kettering, um, who also works in embryonic and adult neural stem cells. I really like Dr. Falcone. Um, he teaches histology and path pathology, and he's just a great guy. He's like really enthusiastic about the topic. And histology, I mean, you're looking at stained slides of tissues. It can be a little mundane, but he's always really energetic, really enthusiastic about the topic. Um, it's funny, he treats <laughs> our lectures like, um, like a locker room pep talk, like halftime in the game. That's what we always compare it to. Uh, but he's, he also has a really commanding knowledge of the subject. I think you can help people by being a great clinician, and I think there are certain certainly ways you can help people by being a great scientist and I want to find how those two things can intersect and I can be a great physician scientist. I want to be able to uh, make discoveries that change the way diseases are diagnosed, that change the way diseases are treated. Um, and that's what I would love to do with my life and with my career. The Hope Hospital there we have in Qatar, it's mainly for people with uh, cancer. And I really had the passion just to do something for those people and figure out a way that I can uh, treat cancer in, in a certain way. There in Qatar we just started the, um, the research center that, every, that will have labs and stuff to, to experience research and it was really important for me to to go and experience research here and in Ithaca to give that to give my experience back to my country and to help in the development. This is I think this is the least that we can give to our country. It has given us a lot. Every person I meet teaches me something in life. That that's why I love interacting with people because you don't have to pass through an experience to learn from it, you can learn from people's experience. The th nice thing about our lab is that we are four women from different uh, regions. I'm from Qatar, my mentor from America, postdoctor from Fran uh, France, and uh, one of our lab there is from China. And yeah, we are all there diverse and talk about different stuff, about countries or religion. You are meeting a lot of people from different countries, different religions, but you can, you kind of speaking in one language, which is science. Whenever that I go and interact with the patients, it just give you the courage to do more and more just to help them and to serve them. Their smile, that you see that they are happy, that really satisfies you after the the hard work that you have done. So we're really proud that we are part of Cornell and we looked forward for that day when it comes to us once we graduate. This was really amazing. <laughs>